Hello, we are so you're keeping well in Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hmm? So, what is destiny? It's a God's purpose for you in your life. What is God telling you to do in your life? What has God ordained for you in your life? What has God ordained for you in your future? So they go towards which man's thoughts are leading him and the beginning of life, the beginning of plan, beginning of process. So God's perfect pattern and he eventually reaches the supreme goal. Man's destiny is to go from glory to glory to glory. Yes. So through our union with Christ, we have been claimed by God as his own inheritance. So, so before we are even born, he gave uh, us our destinies that we would fulfill our plan of God and um, who always accomplishes every purpose and the plans in our hearts. So how do you fulfill your destiny? How do you feel that this is your destiny? What is the plan of God in your life? What do you feel is supposed to be accomplished? And what do you feel in your life has not been accomplished? So destiny, we realize that destiny has everything to do with the intention of which something or someone was made and the parameters in which they are supposed to operate in or by. We also looked at our destiny. So what is your destiny? If you think about it, uh, the world destiny doesn't appear in the in, in, in every person's life. Not, not everybody thinks what is the plan of God. Some people just are just there. Just wake up, do their thing. And they, there's no plan. They, they, they don't feel like there's a destiny in their lives. But if you see that uh, if you look at the way life is, there is a plan. God has a scroll for you. God has a chapter for you. So it is you to seek the will of God and know today what am I supposed to fulfill. And today what did I not fulfill. So the concept of destiny is scriptural. So however, it adapts from the Greek word telos, which is actually translated is translated in the word telos, which means that it is the end of of which things relate or the aim and purpose so if from from there they are, they will draw it as, as a destiny and the end which things relate to so these thoughts patterns or definition of the word introduces to the concept of god and the grand architect who is god and the architect the master builder because in all what gold god works there is the end which all things must relate so there is a relation, there is correlation. So however we think we are limited, we can only imagine many times as far as we have seen. However, God is infinite God. God is all and God is all knowing. So when God thinks, he's visualizing all the possibility. He, he draws collectively and then he makes so when God thinks, he visualizes all the impossibilities and draws them. So this means that uh, when we think about destiny, we shouldn't just see things uh, from a single perspective. We think and about many, many individual lives can marry into God's ultimate grand plan. Excellent, that is going to be your son. So what does this mean from an example? When God thought about you before you were born, oh my God, in your mother's womb, he had an idea of you. So he just didn't think about one man or eventually neither did he just think of yesterday. No, he began years ago. He knew about me. He knew about you. He knew about your life. You are like a book, you know, chapter one, two, three, four, you know, until the end. 
Mm. So it is your responsibility to ask God, what is your will in my life? What is your purpose for me on this earth? Mm -mm. You can't just be there. You have to be fruitful. You have to be fruitful. You have to prosper. You have to excel. That's why you told him that expand my territory, oh God. You bless the work of my hands. That everything I touch is blessed. So you begin to orchestrate individually and think about um, the bodies of organizations, some which are long gone ago, and the things that are coming, things that are about to come. So it sparkles me. It sparkles me and I'm like, God, what are we doing today? What's my assignment today? What is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? What have I not done? What is delaying me? You know, you think. Hmm? There's a concept of you understanding in your mind. What is the mind of God for you? This is why I am telling you for sure. What is your destiny? Who is your destiny? And what does your destiny entail? Shalom.